What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is a series where I cover all the lines of sight, wall runs, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in Infinite Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the second of the Sabotage DLC maps, and that is Renaissance. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so Renaissance has a couple really cool spots on here. First off is this wall run that most people that have really played this map a lot already know about, but for those that don't, you can wall run around here like this. This is an excellent little flank route, and you can go either way with it, which is really cool. What a lot of people don't know is you can also wall run on this building here. Not these buildings, but this one you can. I don't see too much of a purpose of doing this, aside from the fact that people usually don't look there because it looks like it's completely off the map. And there have been a few times where it's like, holy crap, whoa, there is a guy over there. I totally didn't expect it, so you might take somebody off guard by wall running up on this wall here. But generally, you're right out in the open and you'll just get picked off. Now, right over here is just a check spot. This doesn't actually work for killing enemies, but using this bush right here, if you expect enemies are going to be coming around that corner, or maybe you think somebody's sitting there, like just crouched and camping that area, you can use this to check by just simply strafing through like this. You can see right through there very clearly, but your bullets won't penetrate this at all. It's not that you lose a little bit of bullet damage or something. They simply don't penetrate at all. You can fire as many shots as you want. You won't get a kill, but you can still see your enemy through there and use it as a check spot. A somewhat similar thing from the other side. This one's more of a sniper thing and a thermal sight would definitely help. You can see a little bit over there, which is that piece of cover right there. So you can see if somebody's chilling behind there. This one's not quite as practical, but just wanted to point out you could do that. Now another thing right over here, this can be used as like an escape route or something or just a place to take cover. You can jump up on this ledge like this and a lot of times people don't look for you here so maybe like if you escape some fire or something you can just quickly jump up here and this just won't be the first place they look and you can pick them off. Uh, also just be aware people might try to camp up here so just always be aware of that ledge there. You might be able to pick those people off and take them off guard because they're trying to take you off guard. Now getting way back here, we've got a similar story with this tree over here as we had with the tree over on the other side. You can see through this crack right here and this allows you to see that area right there as enemies come through there. This is a hard point location, so this could be very, very useful for callouts and everything. But again, just like the other side, your bullets do not penetrate this area. So you can't kill enemies through there, but you can see them through there. Now one really cool alternative, and with this one you can actually shoot enemies, is if you make it up to these crates and you have an enemy standing right in that spot specifically, it's only that spot, this is a very limited sort of position, but it's pretty cool and you might be able to pick off a kill through here. So if you have an enemy that's right there and he sees you, you can crouch like this, he won't be able to see you at all, and you can shoot through this crack between these crates. Your bullets will penetrate here, and you won't lose any bullet damage at all, and as long as that enemy isn't moving around a ton, you'll be able to pick him off through this crack. Now getting back by this angel statue here, if you have enemies that are up in that window, it can be a little bit difficult to challenge them if they've got like a really good shot with a sniper rifle or something like that. If you are using a sniper rifle and want to counter that window, you can jump up here like this. You're completely hidden, crouch and just strafe over and shoot between the wing and the leg of this angel. It's very, very difficult for them to see you here. Yes, they'll see your scope glint, but aside from that, if you aren't aiming down sight, you're practically invisible to them because of your back background here and because of the fact that it's just such a small crack, so you'll be able to pick them off through there no problem at all. It's an excellent line of sight to that window. Getting over to this corner right here, in Domination, we know the B flag is right there, and it can be a little bit difficult to get there uh, if you're coming around like this. This is where they're pre-aiming. A lot of times they'll pick you off as you come around that corner, but you can get a nice line of sight with a sniper rifle or maybe an assault rifle if you've got a scuff controller, a stick and move layout, or a claw. Uh, you can jump up and you can actually put shots onto your enemy that is on the B flag there. So excellent little jump shot that you can use and very, very effective and they don't normally expect that. Now also right on this corner, something you can do if you have enemies, you know they're going to be coming around there or maybe they're just chilling on that piece of cover right there. You can go prone like this and just kind of strafe your way over. And as long as you aren't shooting the fence itself, you can shoot through the cracks here and you can shoot your enemies through there. No problem. And they have a very hard time seeing you. If they're really paying attention, they will see you there, but they'll have a hard time doing it. And this actually works both ways. So if you have enemies that are coming off spawn from the sea flag area, you can lay down here, aim through the crack, and pick them off. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed on Renaissance. I had to get a little bit creative with this one. It didn't have a ton of spots, but I think I at least found a few that you probably didn't know about already. 
I'd like to know in the comment section below, which one of the Sabotage DLC maps would you like me to cover next? Keep in mind, I've already covered Dominion, so that leaves us with Noir as well as Neon. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.